Well, aren't we uh, on the radio? No, I said maybe we should say it for our listeners. Aren't the listeners listening to the show? But there's a whole joke for that. Two two guys from Oklahoma are talking, and one guy says to the other, you know, my my son, he graduated from college, got himself a BS degree. Now, you all know what a BS degree is, don't you? And the guy says, show enough, but I'd do you one better. He says, my son got a friend who got himself a MS degree. MS degree? What's an MS degree? Well, it's more the same. MS, more the same. Really? Well, you know, my son who got his BS degree got a friend who got himself a PH degree. I have never heard of a PH degree. What's that? Piled higher and deeper. PhD. Piled higher and deeper. And you don't have to laugh. Ha, ha, ha. I wish I had a laugh track. I put it on. Yeah, the only thing you have is, yeah, baby. Don't do me any Austin Powers, please. No. No. Uh, you listen, I would have never thought about it <laughs> if you didn't say it. Because <laughs> I know you got it there. Oh. I got a good, another good joke for you that was sent to me by a speech teacher who I used to work with. Yeah? Guy's riding along in his car, and all of a sudden, he runs out of gas. He said, what the hell am I going to do now? Now, a bee flies into his window... And he explains to the bee what the problem is. He says, you know, I ran out of gas. The bee says, you just stay here. I'll be back in a little while. Guy's sitting in the car. Windows are rolled down. All of a sudden, there's about 100,000 bees swarm into his car. And then they go into his gas tank. And next thing you know, they all leave. The bee says, try it now. Turns the key purring like a kitten. Turns over right away. He said, what the heck did they put in there? And the bee says, BP. Yeah, baby. (laughs) Thank you, Austin. All right, ladies and gentlemen. If I can think of any others, I'll uh, try to keep it to (laughs) to myself. Ladies and gentlemen, this show is really going slow today. I don't know what it is. Only 30 minutes? It feels like at least an hour. Boy, this may... It'll be the shortest let me tell show you, we've ever done. Not only that, but as far as we know, there, there aren't any problems with the audio or anything like that. I wish somebody would at least type in a message and say whether you can hear us fine. Whatever happened to our... Uh I don't know. I think she'd gone by the wayside of uh, Chad the Challenger. And, uh, I guess so. Uh, and uh, well, she kept Naj. Asking, I guess she kept asking for the raise, and we never gave it to her. It's true. But then again, I mean, uh, you know, if we stay on long enough, Ed will probably call up. It's been a few weeks. You Ed know? called yesterday. He called the week before. I don't think so. Oh. Ed has called the last two weeks. He didn't call last week, did yes, he? Yes, he did. Boy, did he call last week. I don't remember. Yeah, he did. He called early last week. Yeah. Ed is one of our regular listeners. We appreciate him. I really really am upset with Naj. I figured, you know, if if he was moving, he at least would have let us know. Or, God forbid, if he got arrested or something happened or if he's in the hospital... He tried to get a message to us. I don't know. You know, but I mean, he, he was such a knowledgeable guy, and it was great talking with him. Yeah. Is that your phone? No, that's my. That's the work phone. I'm that's not your answering. private line, huh? My work phone. I'm not answering that. Okay. Yeah. Well, you, you're on the air. That's why. Yeah, but I'm wondering who would be calling this time of night. I don't know. Maybe you should go pick it up because it doesn't sound like your machine is picking it up. No, the machine doesn't pick up. Oh, well, maybe you don't want to know. It might be a problem. That is true. You know, then you can deal with it uh, tomorrow. You don't want to deal with it now. Oh, well, you know what? I am going to put on another song. That can only mean you're going to pick it up. 
If it keeps ringing anyway. If it keeps, yeah, by the time I get there, it'll stop ringing anyway. Oh, that's this got to be. Put on another uh, Darcy. Okay, we're going to put on the Bonaparte's bedroom. They say he used to live here. There's a sign outside my window. So I guess it must be true. Now I'm listening to the thunder, imagining the sounds of guns and Waterloo. But it all came down to 100 days, the solitude of exile. St. Elaine was your curse. Was the death of you? They say you used to live here. There's a sign outside my window, so I guess it must be true. Now I'm listening to the thunder. Imagining the sounds of guns and Waterloo But it all came down to 100 days The solitude of exile, St. Elaine was your curse For you Did you take the time to wonder About the roads that lay ahead Did you pause to take the view Now each evening As the light fades I always wind up thinking Must have looked the same to you But it all came down To 100 days The solitude of exile St. Elaine was your curse Sends a prince to bring me home A man must make his own way Does he ever get to choose We're all prisoners of our age And our destiny However extraordinary It's just a twist of fate Just so many rolls of dice And it all came down To one hundred days The solitude of exile St. Elaine was your curse Roger Darcy, ladies and gentlemen, Bonaparte's bedroom. That was all right, huh, Doc? Did you enjoy that? Yeah, I looked at the uh, songs that he has listed. I think one of the last songs we should play would be the last song on there. It says Old Men. Old Men? In in, in our honor. What do you think? Old Men. Not not, not now. I mean, you know. But, uh, ladies and gentlemen... Uh, we are acting like old men. 
Yeah, there's really not much to say. It's it's been an off week for Trump. I mean, notice he wasn't even in the headline today. You know, I mean, we talk about the 20 years or so that Bill Riley has had uh, on Fox. Well, uh, Sarah Palin had a contract with Fox, and then they let her go. And I guess they uh, are really desperate for uh, famous names. But I didn't hear about that. No, they mentioned it the same day that uh, they fired O'Reilly, that they let him go. Really? Yeah. They said Tucker Carlson's going to take his place. Mm-hmm. Okay, now that could only mean maybe that uh, Sarah Palin would take the place of Tucker Carlson, which is what, Saturday at 9 o'clock? No, I don't Tucker's know. on every day at 9 o'clock. Well, I can't see her being on every day. But uh, they may split it up between some of the other... Uh, no, they'll, they'll, commentators. They always bring somebody else in that uh, was doing an early show. Yeah, in fact, uh, There's a woman the day that, that she signed, she went uh, to what was it? The White House. She brought Kid Rock and uh, Ted Nugent with her. You know, two staunch uh, Trump supporters. Well. Wow. I'm not sure about this Kid Rock. Yeah. But the... Uh, there's a woman now that does a show called First 100 Days. Maybe they'll, they'll, they'll promote her at 9 o'clock. Well, what is she on now? 7 o'clock. You don't know her name, do you? No. Well, the, the name of her show is the first hundred days and the first hundred days. Almost end. up. Yeah, exactly. So Maybe they had a feeling they were going to get rid of O'Reilly a lot sooner than we anticipated. They just didn't let it be known. You know, kept saying he was on an extended vacation. Yeah. Permanent vacation. Well, Un- now it's permanent. Unpaid. Well, actually paid that. A lot Does paid. it really make a difference since you said he doesn't draw a salary? I mean, he doesn't, you know, I can't see him not drawing a salary. We don't know how rich he is, and we don't know what else he does to draw a salary. Well, we don't know how much money he's given to other women as far as... Uh, 13 million they found. I think more than that. That Fox and... Uh, 21st Century Fox or whatever has had to dole out to uh, various women for sexual harassment. I don't think they did. I think he did, they say. Well, I know they were also shelling out for Roger Ailes. I mean, uh, uh, Megyn Kelly had a lawsuit against him. So basically the same thing. Isn't it amazing how all these guys get sued and our president... Who said you could grab women any place in the world and they throw themselves at you? But he got he, elected president. Well, he doesn't do it though. He talks. He's, you know. He doesn't do it. Come on, he doesn't do it. Uh, come on, you know. He doesn't have to. They beg him. According to him. They probably do. People, you know. All the women that beg for guys that are rich is just unbelievable. I was walking on the boardwalk on Saturday, maybe last Saturday, and I'm walking, and all of a sudden I see this elderly gentleman walking, and he's got this oriental woman walking next to him, at least half his age, high heels. Low cut dress, sunglasses. Maybe it's his daughter. Yeah. <laughs> and she just walking with him, you know. Maybe he's got a bad back and she walks on his back, you know. Uh, he lays down and she walks on his back, you know. Yeah. I don't know. Yep, maybe. But he had a smirk on his face the whole time. Wouldn't you? I'd probably be dead. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the bear of great tidings. Folks, it's 45 minutes already. It's like 
Well, count.